What's up everybody, JR Raymond back again, and today we're going to talk about how to get a bowling ball drilled, and not necessarily just how, but one of the new ways that we're looking at getting balls drilled for people, so stay tuned. All right, so most people have their favorite type of a pro shop or their favorite ball driller or something, uh, and they're really nervous about getting a bowling ball drilled because they want to make sure it feels the same every single time. Well, I'm here to tell you we've got a new way of drilling bowling balls for you, and we're able to do it without you even being there. We're able to let you place an order online at bowlerx.com, and then you can select to have your ball drilled by us over at bowlerx.com, uh, and then we would just ship that ball to you. Now, there's a couple of different different options for this. If you don't know your specs, if you don't have a spec sheet with all your numbers on it, um, then you can just simply ship us a ball, your best feeling ball, whichever one that you say, man, this thing just feels great and I want it to feel like this one every single time. You can ship it to us and we can have it then matched and then ship both balls back to you. No additional shipping charges on that. Or if you do have your specs, you can just simply copy, send us an email with your spec sheet and we will be able to copy and match that for you. Uh, we'll be able to make a molded thumb for you so that way every time you order a ball and want it drilled, we can then put that thumb in your ball. Or if you use switch grip or inter any interchangeable, we have the option of doing that as well. So this is really simple. And, and this isn't going to be for everybody, but for those of you who have, maybe they have a pro shop near them who uh, they're not open all the time, they have very limited hours, or they don't even have a pro shop within an hour of them and they hate driving that hour to go and get stuff done, uh, or you've got a tournament coming up, you need something immediately, then you have this ability to go online and be able to select this to get it done for you. So let's take you over there. I'm going to walk you through the steps here real quick to get that done for you. All right, here we are on the website at bowlerx.com. Uh, all I'm going to do is select the ball. Like I want to drill a nuclear cell. So I'm going to select a nuclear cell here. Click on that and it's going to pop up. You're going to see the pricing and everything here. So we're just going to go down a list uh, and obviously select the weight that we want, 15 pounds. You can select your pin distance if you are your pin placement. So you can two to three, three to four. I'll take three to four. Top weight. None of this really matters, so don't really pay much attention to it anymore. Um, but drilling insurance, yes. If I drill this ball, uh, if it's drilled and it cracks, obviously you want that. Uh, and then you can double your warranty if you want. We'll go ahead and select yes. Double that warranty from the manufacturer. And then drilling options. This is where we need to pay attention. If you want to get the ball drilled from us, then you need to select one of the two options. You got standard drilling, which if I select that, now I have to select the size. And what they mean by that is if you don't know your span, if you don't have specs, and you're not worried about it being completely perfect, you can go off of this gauge here where it shows the extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. And it's going to show you the distances um, and show you the spans based on that. And it's going to be all standard pitches based on exactly what you want there. Um, never have had anybody complain. And there's actually a lot of people that take advantage of that uh, just doing a standard drilling like that. Um, so you put select your size through there, right-handed or left-handed, and it just comes at that standard drilling size. Basically like what you see uh, when you're open bowling and you select a bowling ball and they have the small, medium, large, and based on that. Uh, otherwise, if you have your drill specs, you can select professional drilling, um, and then you can go through the list of things that you have. Like I use grips, so yes. Normally I would say no because I have my own grips. If you don't have your own grips, you can get them here. You need to select the type of grip, uh, the color that you want. You can do all this stuff. You know, we'll do 5 through 39 and 41. Uh, thumb slug, if you're not using an interchangeable, put, then you need yes because the thumb slug, slug is very important when you're drilling a bowling ball to make sure the thumb has a t similar texture every single ball that you go to. Um, so I always say yes, but I use interchangeable, so I'm going to say no. Uh, and then I'm going to go to turbo switch grip outer sleeve, yes. Um, select color, I, it's a red ball, reddish ball, so I'm going to use a red outer to kind of match the ball. Uh, turbo switch grip inner sleeve. No, I don't need one because I already have one. Um, but if you do, then you select yes, and then you have to select a color uh, with a custom thumb mold. You'll get your thumb mold made. And then at this point, you'll go to the select file, and you're going to be able to upload what your file of your spec sheet to be able to get that drilled. So they're going to drill based exactly off of the numbers you have. You're going to add it to cart, 
and then you're going to go and you're going to pay for your item and then you'll be good to go and it'll be shipped to you once it's drilled. So real simple here. This isn't really that big of a deal. This is pretty, I mean, it's a big deal as in it's a cool option to have to get stuff drilled for you, um, but it's not that big of a deal as in it's not hard to do. So if you already have your specs, this is perfect for you. So now we know how to go through the website, but the other thing you want to kind of listen to and pay attention to is your layout and stuff. You want to be able to uh, be able to email us and tell us exactly what type of layout you have. And if we don't know your positive access, then we're going to have trouble finding that. So I suggest to go to one of my videos. I'll put a link in the description to where it shows you how to find your own positive access point, and it'll show you how to find your positive your access tilt and all those numbers that you need um, because it makes it a whole lot easier to actually uh, get the exact layout that you want. Um, if you send us a ball that has a track on it that you've used a lot of, we can find it off of that pretty simply, but the best way to do it is actually to just go throw a bowling ball and trace that first ring that you have on your bowling ball. And I'll show you how to do that. Just go make sure to watch those videos exactly how to find your axis tilt and your axis rotation, your, or, uh, your, axis, uh, your positive axis point, and you'll be able to do all that on your own. This stuff's really simple, and this is a way to take control of how things go for you when it comes to bowling. You can make sure your stuff is drilled properly and you can make sure that you have the layouts that you want because you can literally do the research based on the videos that we recommend and then tell us exactly what you want to see. And I promise you, it's going to be pretty dang close to what you want as far as reaction goes when you're looking at positive access points and access tilt and all those things. Uh, and then when we're laying them out for you and drilling them for you you're going to have a lot of success. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com. Check all this out. If you have any questions, make sure to email proshop at bowlerx.com and we'll be able to answer all the questions for you there on how this works if you have additional questions or comment below if you can. And um, we'll try to get to those as much as possible as well. So make sure to take advantage of this. Uh, and until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.